got a serious problem. Okay, here's the thing. When it comes to R, I would I wouldn't say that I'm the best in the world at R. Not the best. Yeah, not the best. I'm a flip genius. I'm just really good at R, and that's a problem. Why is that a problem? Good question, good question. Um, it's a problem because, well, I've been doing R for so long that I have forgotten all the things that I know. I don't remember when it was hard. I don't. It's been so easy for so long. I don't remember when it was hard. I don't remember. I just don't. I don't. And so for this reason, I may be the least qualified person in this room. I'm the only one in this room. But still, I am the least qualified in this room, or in this house, to teach our least qualified. Yep, that's me. I'm least qualified. But despite that, I'm going to do something that I've been dreading for a long time. I'm going to do a series on R. Now, wait a minute, man. You've already done a series on R. Right you are. And I thought I was the only person in the room. Yes, I have done R tutorials before, but they were always kind of haphazard and really just there to kind of sort of answer a student's question or really just to get them started, hoping that they'd magically figure out the rest on their own. It was never planned. Always just... Whatever that means. This time, however, I have put some effort into it. By golly, I pulled out all the stops. Or didn't pull out the stops? What is the expression? Let's see. I pulled out all the stops. See? I know what I'm talking about. I didn't do this halfway. I'm all in. So yeah, I'm doing an R series. What am I gonna cover? The benefits of R. Why SPSS sucks. How to debug R's error messages. How to fit models and use Flexplot. How to do data manipulation with the tidyverse. How to filter data. How to select data. How to merge data sets. How to go from long to wide and from wide to long and from medium to medium. Okay, that last one doesn't exist, but you get the idea. All right, all right, I'm getting excited. So how do I follow along? That right there is an excellent question. First thing is watch the videos. Second thing is to do the practices listed in the description. That latter part is probably more important than watching the videos. Because learning R is like learning martial arts. Or so I assume, I'm not a martial artist. As you can tell from my lame chops of the hand. You can't learn martial arts by watching a video. You have to practice. You have to like wax on and wax off and stuff. Wax on, wax off. You have to learn by doing. And so it is with R. You can't learn by just watching a video. You have to practice. Back around 2006 or 2007, I took my very first programming class in college. And it was programming with SAS. You wanna know what the professor did? He said, all right, welcome to class. I don't want to see you again until the end of the semester. He wasn't joking. He canceled class. Why? Because he knew it was absolutely useless to lecture about computer programming. The best way to learn computer programming is by actually doing it. You can't just absorb R and treat it like an infection that you just got to get close to it and then it consumes your body. That was a morbid metaphor. To be an R ninja, you have to practice your R ninja moves. So I will be your guide. I will give you the instructions, but then you, my friend, have to do it yourself. Have to take time to practice hours and hours and hours before it becomes easy. And I promise you, if it could happen to a moron like me, it can happen to you. R will become easy. So I hope you will join me. I hope you will enjoy the ride in learning about R.
and I will see you in the next video where I'm going to talk about why SPSS sucks. See you there.